Hey dolls, and welcome to my channel. So, ugh, I told you guys, sorry, I just had to chase after Poppy. <laughs> so I'm a little out of breath, but anyways, I told you guys I would show you our Christmas tree in the living room. So that's what I'm going to do. This is our tree. It's kind of hard to get a full view of it. It's a pretty big tree. This is the tree that we cut down at the Christmas tree farm. Um, I'm going to do it this way, just once, so you guys can see the full view. Sorry if my camera's shaky. I was going to do these videos on my Canon, you guys, because I think I'm going to have a way to upload them pretty soon, but my Canon doesn't have a flash on it like my phone, so I decided just to do it with my phone. That way I could upload it tonight and, you know. So anyways, this is our tree in our living room. Up there, the tree topper, here, let me turn my light off for a minute, is actually an angel. It's really old. It's from like the 20s or 30s. It is my great grandma's. It used to be her tree topper. And when she passed away, it got, um, my mom ended up getting it, you know, got passed down to my mom. Right there we have a little elf that we call the elf on a shelf. Um, you can buy elf on the shelf in stores. Basically the whole thing about the elf on the shelf is you tell the kids that <laughs> The elf come, came to the house to watch them, and you move the elf around so it looks like it moves, and you do different things with it, and take different pictures of it, like washing dishes and doing stuff, and the kids really think it's Santa's Claus, you know, a Santa Claus elf, so Parker thinks that that elf watches him. <laughs> it's really cute, but he don't pay too much mind to him. So this is the tree. It's a beautiful tree. The first week we had it in here, it smelled like heavenly in here because it's a real tree. And this is actually a Douglas fir. Um, this tree ended up costing $45, which we thought it was only going to be $35. And the guy, they only gave us two prices. And then when my dad brought this up to buy it, it ended up being $45. He wasn't too happy. But it's a beautiful tree. But it doesn't smell like a Christmas tree anymore. Last year, the same thing happened. A lot of the artificial trees that you get in the lot, they spray stuff on them to make them smell more strong than what an actual Christmas tree that you would cut down at the farm smells like. I found that out, so. But anyways, this is the side that Parker decorated. He did such a good job. Of course, up top higher, we helped him out. But down here, if you see, there's like five ornaments bunched up <laughs> in certain places. But he decorates it, and we leave it the way he decorates it, because that's part of the fun. So my mom has really pretty ornaments. We have an artificial Christmas tree downstairs that's a white tree. So um, I love the white tree, but I really like the traditional Christmas tree. So I'm happy that we started, you know, going to the Christmas tree farm, and we started that tradition with our family. So, anyways, um, that's the candy ornament that I traded my mom for the horsey. She's actually got a horsey on hers, too, right there. But her horsey's actually white. The one she gave me is pink. But, um, the feather's pink. This is a um, <clears throat> ornament that I made when I was a kid. It's made out of an egg, and I put a doggy on there. Um, I forgot how old I was. I want to say I was like seven when I made this. And my mom's had all these years, pres you know, present ornaments. Um, a lot of the ornaments that we had as kids, um, have broke throughout moves and stuff like that. We still have some of them. Like you guys seen, I had some on my tree, like back here. That's actually an ornament that we've had a really long time. Um, that one too. It's one of my favorite ornaments, and I think most of them broke. But there are still some on here that are from when we were kids. Like that um, gold apple, and <laughs> we have a green apple that my dad usually puts on the tree every year. And I don't know where it's at. We have beetle ornaments. My dad had the whole set, but they broke, um, sadly, because they were really cool. But that's what the green apple stands for, John Lennon. That's my dad's favorite singer. So he puts it on the tree every year, and I don't see it. I'm not sure if they put it on yet. <clears throat> Some of them have fell. It looks like we're going to have to fix them. But So, yeah, there's Santa Claus we've had for a while. Big fat Santa right there. He's so cute. And then there's a Frosty the Snowman. This would be where Parker puts ornaments, you guys, because he likes to jumble them together. Yeah, he's so cute. So... 
this is the tree in our living room. We haven't put the tinsel on it yet. We have tinsel. We're going to do that tomorrow with Parker. So I'll show you guys a quick view when the tinsel's on there. I put garland on my tree only because I don't want Poppy eating the tinsel. It's not good for him. So this is the tree. I love it. And then I want to show you guys the trees my mom makes. <clears throat> These are trees that my mom just made up. She's so crafty. She took, she made me one and the top broke off. It was my fault. It was an accident, obviously. She's going to fix it for me, though. But she takes old, okay, you know the foam, like, um, they're like triangular foams you can get at, like, the craft store. She takes that, because it's in the shape of a tree, and she takes vintage, old vintage jewelry and just glues it all around the tree. They're so beautiful. Time-consuming, but absolutely beautiful. This is a smaller one. She made me and my sister some, and she made some as gifts. I mean, they're beautiful. Yeah, so mine has a butterfly at the top of it. I love it. They're really blingy. So those are her Christmas trees that she made. I love them. I think they're so pretty. There's our little, our living room is, um, our little manger. Our living room is really messy right now because, um, Parker was just here. Whoops. See, I'm tripping on, on kids' toys. <laughs> this is his area. And, you know, his table usually is over the, under that sheet, but I had to move it because I couldn't turn the TV on without the table being out of the way. So, this is all from Parker. It's a mess right now. Plus, we're decorating for Christmas, so those are all Christmas ornaments on the trees. And laundry I got to put away, so it's kind of a mess in here. But <clears throat> we've got some of the Christmas decorations up around the house. Not very many yet. <clears throat> and then over here... Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you guys this. It's so cute. It's Parker when he was a baby. Poppy, why are you crying? Excuse me, I had a hiccup. There's some Christmas down there, I think. And then Parker was playing over here with Christmas stuff. He's so cute. And then my mom <clears throat> actually takes ornaments that, you know, she didn't put on the tree. And she puts them in her crystal. And it actually ends up looking really pretty if you do that. So, I just wanted to show you guys the tree in the living room. <clears throat> in our old house, we used to put up two trees. We had one in our front room, which was like a family room, and then one in our living room. My sister actually lives in that house now, so she did that this year. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why was you crying? Booby. And this is all Christmas stuff that we have to put out. <clears throat> Poppy, be nice. And then my mom put some flowers around. That's the light to the camera, you guys, just so you know. Some more Christmas stuff. Oh, actually, I found this, and I thought this would be a cool brush holder. And then I want to show you guys real quick. My I seen on... YouTube, um, what was her name? Bentley Blonde or Blonde Bentley. She had a tutorial, like a do-it-yourself, on how to make a cupcake ornament. And what she did was she had, like, you know, a pink ornament and then a, a red, like, foil cupcake holder. And then she had these really pretty sequin red, like, balls that looked like cherries. And she took glue and, like, tacky glue, and she made it look like frosting. And then she uh, sprinkled glitter all over the part that was supposed to look like frosting. And then, you know, she let that set. And then you take hot glue or the Gorilla Glue, and you glue the ornament into the cupcake tin, which they have silver. They have all different colors. And, um, you know, she glued it kind of sideways. And then you take something that is either like a fake cherry or like she had, and then you would glue it 
right onto the ornament and then put a hook on and it looks like a, a cupcake it's so cute so i'm gonna get the stuff to do that and probably make them as gifts i thought it was so adorable i just took the stuff out to see what it would look like you know because we have a bunch of ornaments that we don't use i mean i could get ornaments at the dollar store you know what i mean just plastic clear ones but i thought that would be neat so anyways i just wanted to show you guys the christmas tree and the Christmas stuff that we had out so far. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna go. Bye!